We have a uh, testing operation underway right now. Uh, it's the first uh, drive-through testing facility in Long Island. The governor directed us to set up uh, testing facilities in New York State. So we have two on Long Island, uh, one in uh, Westchester County, one in the Hudson Valley. And this is the first one here in New York City, uh, here on Staten Island. Uh, we have three large tents, uh, six lanes. We're running four lanes today. Uh, it's day number one, uh, hours 11 through 7, uh, by appointment only. We've been uh, bringing in individuals to, uh, to have them uh, swabbed and tested for the coronavirus. As the governor has said repeatedly, we are at war with this virus, so we are deploying uh, state government as if we are in a war footing uh, to, to address uh, this problem and ultimately get ahead of it. We have nurses from a variety of functions in there performing the swabbing. Um, Staten Island University Hospital Northwell. We've got uh, uh, medics from the Army as well. We've got volunteer nurses. So we're putting together all the skill sets, ultimately improving our results as we go. A test is fast turnaround, uh, usually two or three days. We run those tests uh, to a local lab. We have a lab uh, relationship. Actually, they're on site with us. So as soon as a, a sort of a, a package of, of results is prepared, those then go off to, to the lab every two hours. We are a safety first operation. Everyone that comes and volunteers or is serving here is going to go home safe. So uh, it starts here on the street. We don't want anyone on the street to be exposed by any, anyone uh, lowering their windows. So it's no windows down, no windows all the way until you get this, to the swab itself, and then it's windows back up and you're out. 